Right, this is part two of fitting the, the new cable to my, my Range Rover uh, outer door release. That's the part just came. It's, uh, what's the day's day? It's the 1st of February 2022 and it's blown a gale. <laughs> so, let's see. Now, I had to lock the car up. It's been sitting a couple of days. Now, I had a bit of trouble uh, unlocking this door because I went doing it like it. I don't know, it was like it deadlocked itself. So what I today, let's put a bit of tension on that. And that really start. Then push that. I can you can see that as well. I'll push that down there. That cable is that's better. I pushed that down and that released the door. Right, just look at this one's pretty straightforward. We've got that to come out. That there. That'll just slide out. And it sort of circles in there. That looks like it goes through a guide there. And you've got it fitted onto that bit, doing the bottom there, that oh, looks like a sorry nipple, you can see it's, the cables came up a wee bit. First thing I'm going to have to do is try and knock that cable off of that bracket there, which I think it's going to be easier said than done to be honest with you. subject. That's that off. Well, that came off no bad. Now right, let's see what's next. I'll be that top, top one. Well that's lucky. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit again. Right, I don't know. Kind of have to reposition the, the camera. So we've got that top bit of the cable to come out. So that, let's see. Oh, I'm getting my own light. So that, that just, oh, there you go, that's just popped out. That was easy enough. Right, so once I had that one there, that was slight through, sort of guide. there for that cable. I think that's what it looks like. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just hooped in. There you go. Just hooked on that bit. It's about the right that cable. That's ready. Come off. You want to sort of take a, a mental note of what sort of route that goes. That's basically against the outer, the outer skin of the, the door. So that just turn hooks. I should pull it now and walk. Oh, that's on a bracket in some sort. Oh, it's just a plastic clip.
that's a plastic clip on the is that the the strengthening bar the side impact bar of the door. Just hoping it's the right cable. <laughs> da, da, da. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, there'll be a broken bit in that. In that top there. Up there. Yeah, there's going to be a broken bit of cable and that, so that's going to be twisted around. I would think that was. Uh. Yeah, the broken bit of cable's lined up with that slot. Easier for those all there. Let me see, that'd be ideal if that's magnetic. Right, I'm gonna have to put this down. Hey, I managed to get that broken bit that a uh, Nipple, if you want to call it that, at the at the lock. Just use my magnet. Right, start getting the the new one in. Right, I would say it'd be easier putting it in the, the bottom lock first. I think. Let's see where this goes. I'm kind of restricted to the the view of the camera. Right, so I'm feeding it in there. And I'm done to that first. I'll see. So put that in there like that. And then get onto the bracket. Right, that's how it entered. That looks like it's on, I think. Right, I'll reposition the camera. So I'll grab the cable. See that? I'll no clip that into the, that door then. Right? So that goes. So 
through that bit there, that gate. Pull that inner cable through a bit. Now I would say you're going to have to See if we can get that way, that's better. I think you have to put that in there first. Enter that on there. If I move that handle, that makes things worse. It'll probably be easier to put this on the top one first. I think if you're doing a job like this, you have to watch the kick the cables. Off. I wonder if it'd be easier if I took that off of there first. I do things like what you hunted. Right, so I've got the cable there. It'll just be a case of, hopefully. Right, oh shit, just give it. Right, that's it, and you just twist it around. Right, so we're wanting to enter that onto that back, then that sort of hook bit. See, got about eight. Right now, it's just pushing now. That looks off you like it. Let me see. Seems to be doing something. Well, I've, I've gave the ring a, a bit of loop with WD 40. Might be an idea if you had any spray grease. That'd be. That'd be a good thing. Hey, let's see, just put that in the lock position, right? And that should. There you go. Just check it again. You know, to get the door built up and it doesn't work. Get my lock. Right, that's fine. Just get that clipped. 
back in there to the, the door side bar. Just clips in. Easier said than done. What's that? Right. Let's have a wee look to see how this the inner release works. That's like a sort of hook effort. And that goes on. Let's see. You've got that there. That's your inner release door handle. So you're gonna have to push that. That's a closed position. So you're gonna have to hook that in. And then a clip clips on there. Now I'll try to straighten some of these out. These clips are I've had it basically. Get that back on. I'll have to get that sort of entered in first, then I'll get the cables, all the wires connected up. The clip that was causing the problems when I was taking the door off. So, what I've done, I think the best way to do this would take that, that plastic bit off and put that onto the door. So, you think that's the door? That's facing up the way. Clip that in there. And that'll just be a case of entering that onto that. I've got the the wee wire for the puddle light connected. Yeah. I've got that, that screw, that's the screw that caused the problems to take it out, there's a bit that panel actually broken and somebody's forced the screw right through, that's where it goes there, right so I'll get this up and I'll get the wires connected, let's see, these are, I was actually going to put that that trim back on first. I'm not very sure even if I do. I really had to take that off in the first place. Right, so this trim is basically two little plastic studs that hold that on. I've got that wire.
Right, so we've got a wire going up there to the tweeter. That one. That one there. That's actually attached to the door. And that must be some sort of sensor for the, the electric window. Because that surrounds that, that aperture. Right, so you've got a clip that goes in there. And that just attaches back into that, that seal. Got one in there. There's not a lot of holds that on. I just hope we can get a panel back on with that in place. Right. So I've got that clip on. I've got that attached. Some of these clips, I've had it. And I'm not going to bother ordering... Oh, okay, look, these up. I can swap some of these clips out. So it sort of spreads the the load. Right, that's that ready to go on then. I've moved some of the clips about. I could the job 100%. I should have got new clips. There's there's two missing. But, right. I'll get these wires on. I'll try and show you about these. I can hardly see myself. Right. So you've got that one for the the window control that goes on there that slight that just goes right in itself you've got this one here so it's sort of self locking you just get a wee helping hand across and to release that you push that, that little bit there And that comes out like that. So that's that in. We've got one there for that's for the access adjusting the suspension. You've got that one going down there. I'm sure that's got the speaker in the door. I might be wrong. To put this camera down and do it. It's, there's one, a, there's the main one, got the speaker. And I'm sure there's another one. I'll get that adjusted when I put the, well, I'll get that attached when I put the camera down. There should be another one there. That goes in there. The window's working now. I don't know why it dropped this phone. Now I'll have to put this down. Right, this is where you connect the inner door release. Now you've got a, a dig into the camera, it's in focus or not like. I've got it perched inside the door. Now you've got that. Well, that bit there. So that just that sort of slides in and hopefully it clips. Right, that's that clipped in. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right, so that's that's the main bit of the door done. Right, I'm going to enter the rest of it on. Right, so I've got these top clips. You just push the, the panel onto that knee clip in. Right, you've got these plastic ones all around the boot. Now, I would say the main one to get back in is the one at the back of there. I don't know if you can see that. 
Right, so I'm just hoping that goes. That seems to have clipped onto that. I make sure the, the yellow plastic clips are lightened up first because that's how the old ones got broken. Somebody just forced it on. Looking good. Just check everything marks here. Right, let's see. Ignition on. Yep, they're all working. Electric monitors. Yeah, good stuff. I check to see if make sure that's working before we do anything else. My God, it's working. That panel that didn't have to come off. Obviously, I didn't know that to start with. I was convinced that there was a screw at the back of that. I suppose that's a handy guide to eh, if you ever re want to renew that panel. Just check the speakers are working. Right, back in with these screws. So basically screw wise you've got these, you've got two that size, one that at that door handle and you've got that Torx one up there, that's all the screws, so that's basically four screws, hold that door panel on. Right, I'll get the rest of them. Amen. Right, so that's how these screws in. So basically you've got the one there, one there, one there, and one there. And the rest are basically clips, and you've got that sort of awkward one at the back in the middle. Right, all that's left to be done now is to put that trim in. So, Put the door, the, the window down, and let me see. It.
give that a little clean first of things. So there's the top trim. So you've got the clips here, so you just send it in there. On there and just give it a gentle gentle tap and it doesn't go. I right, have to make sure that's gone in right. It just takes one wee clip to be it line and it sort of buggers a lot. Take that back off. Have a real look inside. I think it could be. Yeah. That could be the one that's causing problems. This is painful. That's that one. That's that in That one is in it. That one is in it. Oh, right, that's it on. One of the clubs was bent out of position, so that's basically the job done. Let's see. <laughs> My battery's flat. Shit. That's me charged the battery and it started okay, so that's me finished. Thanks for watching and I hope you've taken some for this video. Bye.